everyone, welcome back to another episode of Simplicity TV. Talking to you today all about your gut health and specifically when it comes to gut health, some things that you need to start to consider and think about if you are struggling. So let's just kind of go through a few of the list, the items of what might indicate that you have something going on in your gut. There is the very obvious gas, bloating, acid reflux, food repeating on you, burping nonstop, um, constipation, diarrhea, bowel irregularities. These are some pretty common symptoms where we know and we'll say like, oh, my gut is just off. But what you might not connect to is that everything that feels out of balance in your system ultimately as we unravel the layers and the pieces comes back to the function of your gut. This is where your immune system function stems from, your neurotransmitters, which are your mood stabilizing hormones, your hormones as a whole, your ability to show up and have resiliency and have that extra zest and pep and energy. If your digestive system is bogged down, if it's struggling, if it's fighting a battle that you aren't too sure is even there or happening, this is all things or are all things that are going to create big bottlenecks, not just in your poop, not just constipation, but literally will become roadblocks for you feeling your best. So let's break it down a little bit. The first question I get asked all the time is about probiotics. Now, probiotics are fantastic, but there can be too much of a good thing and there can be taking something that is actually not so good at all in terms of product wise. So you definitely wanna do your research and understand the company that you're affiliating yourself with, the product that you are putting into your body. I would not be buying this at just your regular grocery store in the pharmacy section. I wouldn't be buying it at a big general bulk store. Um, I think you'd know what, what size I'm talking about, what company I'm talking about. I would be looking at the specificity for your body. So for instance, I work with a lot of women right now who are dealing with SIBO, which is small intestinal bacterial overgrowth. They really feel like they can't eat anything. Every thing causes gas pain and discomfort. And when I do their GI map poop test, their stool test, what we will see is that they actually have an overgrowth of bacteria, not too little, but too much. And so if they've been taking high, high amounts of probiotics, that can be one of the things that are causing an issue. It's like Goldilocks and the three bears, right? Not too little, not too much right in the middle. And so I'm not saying don't ever take a probiotic, but there's a time and a place, and sometimes we need to actually pull it out, rebuild what's going on in the body, remove a lot of the irritants before we can add it back in. Now, when I am doing the re-addition of adding a probiotic in, it's not always going to come in a form of something that's like a 20 billion, a 40 billion, a 50 billion culture. It might come in a single strain. I really love Saccharomyces boulardii, which is one single strain. I like spore-based probiotics like that from Megaspore. And again, it depends on the individual. And so what I wanted to illuminate for you today is, you know, here's Floramyces from Designs for Health. This is Saccharomyces boulardii. This is something that I'm probably gonna use with the woman who is suffering from major digestive issues, also possibly has a parasite, has some level of gut infection. We wanna go low and slow with her. If I have somebody that has been on multiple rounds of antibiotics, and has a totally different scenario on what's been going on, I might go a little bit more heavy hitting. This is the garden of life and this is a 50 billion. The reason when you go into the store and into the supplement section, you see like 1 billion, 2 billion, 10, 20, is because there's something different for everyone. So it is important that you ask questions when you are doing your shopping and that you understand what you are purchasing because probiotics can be a huge part of a healthy gut, but you have to know what you're looking for, when and how to take them, okay? The next thing is is about digestive enzymes, digestive bitters, and helping your body do a better job at actually breaking down what you're eating. So this is for the person who has dyspepsia, tons of belching, tons of burping, everything they eat feels like it's coming right back up. They taste what they're eating. They wake up the next day, they taste what they're eating. You are not breaking down the food that you are consuming. If everything bloats you, you hear the bubbles, you feel the bubbles, that is literally food that is now sitting in the digestive system, rotting and putrefying and off-gassing. So we need to do a couple things. We need to enrich the amount of hydrochloric acid in your gut, unless you have parasites, H. pylori, and a gut infection. 
In that case, we don't add any hydrochloric acid. We would work at repairing the gut lining, which is gonna talk about these items in a moment. But for the person who doesn't have a gallbladder, you need the digestive enzyme with hydrochloric acid, ox bile, pepsin, those types of things. Now we can go low and slow with this as well too. We could do something as simple as a half a tablespoon of apple cider vinegar in a little bit of water that you would sip before dinner. You can do Canadian digestive bitters. St. Francis is my favorite and I'm gonna show you how simple it is to do this. And I actually just did eat something, so I don't take digestive enzymes on a regular basis because I don't have any issues, but this could still benefit me. So the bitters help to get more enzyme activity. I'm gonna do about a full scoop of this. So when you're using an eyedropper, you're never going to get a full amount out. You get like, you know, two thirds out. So I'm actually going to give it three full squeezes to get that amount. And I have it in a little shot glass, I'm playing bartender today. And then I'm just going to add a little bit of water because bitters have some heat, right? So they are like, you can just drop it right in your mouth, but you're going to drool a little bit. It's like taking a shot of like Jägermeister but not as bad when you dilute it with a little bit of water. Okay, and then I'm gonna take a sip. This is my chaser. That's how lame I am now, guys. This, this, you've just witnessed me at the bar. <laughs> this is how far we go now. Can't do shots, can't even say that word without drooling. Um, okay, so we've got the bitters. Then we have plant-based digestive enzymes. These are chewable. These sit on our kitchen table. And I love these for guests in general because it's not common conversation. Well, it kind of is in this house. Like, oh, do you still have a gallbladder? You need this digestive enzyme, not this one. So this sits on the table um, for the kids, for my husband and I, for guests. Like my parents were here for dinner on the weekend. And you know, my parents are in their 70s. They definitely have some digestive stuff. And so this is what they had at the end of the meal. And then you can also get your more specific, more professional based enzymes. And that is when I would recommend that you're working with a practitioner. So you know what to use. You're not wasting your money and you're not possibly causing more harm than good. Now we're into things that are going to help. So probiotics, it's recolonizing. Enzymes and digestive um, bitters are going to help the actual environment in your gut. So you're literally breaking down what you're eating because if you don't break the food down, you will not get any of the nutrients. Now we're coming into some healing powders. Let's talk about this one first. This is Slippery Elm. Slippery Elm is my go-to for anybody who has heartburn, reflux, acidity, pain, ulcers, anything where they just are like, it's too much heat. They can't do spice, they can't do stimulants, they have a lot of pain. Slippery Elm is a powder and it's very um, mucilogenic. It coats, it actually helps to re-knit, soothe and rebuild the lining of the esophageal tract and the actual stomach itself. It's beautiful, I love it because you can use it at any time, children, adults, pregnancy, nursing and beyond. And what I'd recommend to you from a cost savings is buy it in bulk. When you go to any of your health food stores, they'll have it like in something labeled but they also have it in bulk. Buy it in bulk, put it in a jar like this. A teaspoon is all you need with some warm water. Now it is going to be slimy. The texture is something you have to get used to when you're drinking it. But again, we're trying to coat, calm and soothe. This will literally change your life if you have heartburn, reflux and any of the pain I talked about. My dad had cancer 10 years ago. He had a GIST tumor right at the junction of where his esophageal flap was that led into the top of the stomach. And they went in to remove the tumor and it was, it was so large, they actually took the top half of his stomach with the tumor, which means they took his flap. He no longer has a valve, a sphincter, to keep the contents of the stomach splashing up and the esophagus above. So he has been suffering for over a decade from this and is finally at the point where he's like, Jen, I wanna get off the Pantalock. I wanna get off the proton pump inhibitor. He's 78 years old and he's still up leveling his health and slippery elm has been a huge part of it okay the next thing here is this is called gi revive i absolutely love this powder i have been using it for a very long time in my practice and in our home as well too and so what i love about this is it has slippery elm it has aloe in it it has marshmallow it has cat's claw it has all of these beautiful entities that help to heal the gut 
calm down inflammation, start to repair and heal the lining of your actual gut, which is your barrier to the rest of your body. So a lot of people I work with who have autoimmune conditions that are really suffering with the gut, we get them on this. Gut infections, we get them on this. So I start them about a half a tablespoon in some water, work them up to a full tablespoon, and I have them do this in the morning. I also work with this product with clients of mine who have chronic constipation. When I work with women in the Hormone Project, I can't be doing estrogen detoxification, liver detoxification, supporting everything upstream if their back end has a giant plug. If they are so constipated that they aren't pooping regularly or and this is really important to pay attention to. You poop every day, but only if you have your morning coffee. If we were to take the coffee away and you didn't poop, if you only poop after your coffee and you don't poop again in the rest of the day, I guarantee you're actually constipated. Healthy functioning bowels are going to eliminate two to three times a day, good quality form. Check out the Bristol chart if you don't know what I mean by good quality form, okay? Um, and so this is an addition. The other thing is adding an L-glutamine powder. One scoop is gonna give you five grams. You put this into your water. You can put it in actually with your GI Revive. Um, I will actually, you can see, I don't know if you can see up top here. Um, this, this is like a little bonus tip that I wasn't gonna give you. So I'm huge into exercise. Obviously it's my life. So is my husband, he's a CrossFitter. We will do a scoop of BioSteel. Uh, we will do a scoop of creatine. And then we'll do a scoop of L-glutamine and a scoop of GI Revive in our water, shake it up, and we drink that while we train. Why the BioSteel? Electrolytes, amino acids, tart cherry, reduce inflammation. Why the creatine? It helps with muscle protein synthesis. Why the L-glutamine? Gut function. If we are gonna be strong and resilient to fend off anything, we have to have our gut intact, so this is really important. And then the GI Revive, because it is just like the cat's ass in terms of helping to heal. Okay, so that, that was your extra little bonus tip there. Um, and that's, you know, it's what we do. And again, for us, like I functionally test my whole family. I've tested everyone's stool. I do the Dutch on everyone. I look at blood work so I know exactly what we need. I'm very confident in talking to you about this and telling you this. The last step is about magnesium. Now, magnesium is good for a couple different reasons. Magnesium is great to help to get the bowels moving. If you're constipated, you're going to want to go with a citrate or a malate, okay? So the citrate powder, I find is the easiest for people. Teaspoon to two teaspoons and a little bit of water, cool or warm. It's also a great way at night if you are trying to break the habit of snacking and sweets to do this with a little bit of flavoring in it. It just again shifts your palate. Um, the other thing is that if you have regular bowels, but you are mineral deficient, which everybody needs more magnesium, doing a bisglycinate is really good and it's not going to loosen the stool up. Now, the other thing that I love about magnesium is that the magnesium citrate, this one here, there's a little bit of effervescent when you put it into the water, it kind of bubbles up. So if you're that person that has any of the heartburn, you know how you would normally take Tums or you would take like a Gaviscon, that chewable like calcium form? You can use something like the magnesium citrate or a calcium carbonate. There's also a great homeopathic remedy called Calc Carb. And you can do that if you feel that kind of bubbling coming to the surface. So. Magnesium gets touted a lot for its help with sleep. It is not a sedative, let's be clear about that. Magnesium is a calming mineral that can help to relax you for bed, but magnesium alone won't be what's gonna help you sleep, but it will most definitely help support a healthy gut. So I know this is a lot of information. It's why we record it, so that you can go back, you can listen again, you can send in any of your questions, and don't hesitate to reach out and to work with one of us within our team. We have fantastic functional nutritionists who work on the specificity of this. We have amazing practitioners who offer functional testing. We have our synced success coaches. We have myself and Dr. Laura Anderson, who are your head coaches inside of the Hormone Project. We truly have have created a company where there is something for everyone, for every woman, because that is our mission. It is to help you understand and optimize your health today so that you can have the most incredible days moving forward. And we do it always with a little bit of simplicity and ease as our root and our base. So from my kitchen and my brain <laughs> to yours, have an amazing rest of your day and we'll see you soon.